Let me show you how we device out this box for a dual data drop for this workstation that we ran for this customer. You got everything here, a reducer or a mud ring is what we call it to the right. Two cat six jacks, a label, your windows that go in your labeling ports on your faceplate. You got your snips, punch tool and screwdriver. You want to get everything prepped, get your mud ring on, get your cables cut back and relabeled. Make sure you keep everything nice and clean and organized. I like to use the, the faceplate bag as a trash bag. Get your cable stripped back, lace it into the jack per the color code on the jack. We use B standard. I don't know anybody that uses A standard anymore, but there's always someone in the comments that does. I use my Milwaukee strippers here to trim these screws. You see that little 632 hole? Your faceplate screws will thread right into that and you can cut them shorter without boogering up the threads so they'll thread into this plate at the top if that cable gets in between that box connector and that screw hole you don't want the screw to go through the cable causing a short ruining your connectivity so i like to give them a trim it's easy you thread it right in give it a squeeze not only is it something easy to do that could prevent your cable from getting damaged, but it's way quicker threading in half the screw. Those screws are way too long anyway, in my opinion. Plus, it's holding a faceplate on to an EMT box. So if it's threaded in a little bit, it's threaded in all you need. You get everything in place, get your label in. I'm going ahead and going to test cable A. You see remote ID one. And then the other end, there's one and two and A and B. So you can keep track, make sure you have them in the proper order. That one passed, good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and test cable B. You can see remote ID two. So we have a double check kind of fail safe to make sure that everything's in the proper order and I didn't swap them.